a great follow up now to a story right in our backyard that it grabbed national attention. A young girl from Palm City, she won all of our hearts, incredibly brave and positive after a shark bit down on her foot. Now, many of you have been following Jasmine's story only here on WPTV News Channel 5. And new tonight, our Ashley Glass reports from St. Mary's Medical Center in West Palm Beach. There is so much more to helping patients like Jasmine after a shark bite than just stitching up the wound. We want to warn you, though, some of the images you're about to see may be a little graphic. She's come a long way in only about a week's time. Jasmine Carney healing up nicely after a shark bit down on the 10 year old's foot at Hope Sound Beach. I'm feeling really happy to get out of the hospital so I can see my friends again and my brother or brother. The work determining what kind of shark got Jasmine and the size, that's progressing too. I have a real interest in it. You know. Dr. Robert Borrego leads the shark bite research team at St. Mary's Medical Center, a niche group born more than a decade ago after a simple question from the father of a toddler bitten by a shark. What kind of bacteria are in a shark's mouth? And we told them we, do, we don't know. Dr. Borrego diving right in, swabbing more than 50 sharks at local beaches and in the Bahamas. We uh, swabbed a whole bunch of sharks, different species. We shot mainly black tips off the beach, spinners. Then we went in the ocean and we got bull sharks and tiger sharks and lemon sharks, nurse sharks. How do you study shark saliva to learn how to better help your patients? <laughs> That's a great question. It wasn't easy. It was fun, but not easy. Samples are studied here, the shark bite lab at St. Mary's. So with this now that we have all this data, we're more specific about targeting the specific bacteria for that specific shark. And it minimizes risk, cost, and length of stay in the hospital. Dr. Borrego explains they can now treat with certain antibiotics to prevent infection after a shark bite, instead of casting a wide net, hoping to catch the right bacteria from the right shark. In Jasmine's case, they know she was bit close to shore. Because her wounds were covered with sand. And because of the time of year, the black teeth migrate through here by the thousands. And the looks of the teeth marks, it was likely a four to five foot black tip shark. Cross that with their shark bacteria bank, and Dr. Borrego says Jasmine got the best, most precise care. And she's able to use her foot very well. Jasmine backs that up. Good. No, nothing hurts right now. And says there's only one thing she misses about her hospital stay. A cookie with chocolate chips that were van that had the vanilla thing, it's vanilla chocolate chips. Mm. They were really good. So personal. I love it. The, the team was amazing. Yeah, and the work happening right here in our backyard from this team, it's high profile too. It's been on National Geographic, Shark Week, Discovery Channel. Um, really interesting stuff. I have a new photo for you guys too. I want to show you. It's Jasmine at home. She sent this to me this morning, recovering. You can see she's got a little smile. You know, the bandage is a little less cumbersome there. So she should be fully recovered one to two months at which time she has a date yeah. to be here. Her family Win. wants to meet you, Steve Weagle. Maybe try her hand at the weather. It's amazing how quickly she's recovered. I love her positive attitude, too. Yes. Yeah, and doctors will tell you, you know, as I've been talking to them about Jasmine's case, the positive attitude, they say, is helping with her recovery. Yeah. And fascinating how it's not just the shark bite, it's the bacteria in that bite that can be you know, cause serious issues too. Yeah, and helps them narrow in, you know, what kind of antibiotics they might need to treat it so that you don't get a nasty infection. And certainly keeps track of the types of sharks that we've got offshore. As yeah, well. and I mean, they're, they're taking the samples locally in the Bahamas. They said, you know, elsewhere along the Gulf Stream. So it's really niche, fascinating work. So what do you think, guys? Should Jasmine go into marine biology when she gets <laughs> Maybe. older? I, I you never think know. she's born to do it. Yes, I think so. And she gets to meet you soon. This All right, exciting. I'm very excited. Very very, very excited. You said you can't wait that long. Yeah, yeah. well, I think, <laughs> I think she's she's going to be on the men pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah very that attitude. quickly.